what's up, YouTube? So then, Common Geek coming to you with some more Walmart packs. I got wind that there were some new DC packs out there, so I visited a local Walmart. No DC packs. I know that's not really sad for some people, but I was looking forward to some new stuff. But I did find some newer Marvel Walmart packs and bought out the rest that they had. So if you want to see what I picked up today, stay tuned for the video. Now, before we get into all of this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. So, when videos are like this, when drop ever so randomly, you were one of the first people to know. And I can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later as long as you watch it. We appreciate you. Talking about people we appreciate, how about the list of channel members? People that are supporting the channel through their monthly membership. And if you are interested in what the benefits to... Uh, either or both of these programs are there is a link tree link to both of them in the description below now not the least of which benefits there are are the monthly giveaways and this month we are doing an uncanny x-men 26694 cgc slab first cover appearance of the cajun gambit and so all you have to do to enter to win is to either be a member which you get 10 chances per membership and then if i do a live video during the month then you can do a super chat also uh, and or also and get one entry per dollar super chat so there you go these uh, walmart packs have been bearing some fruit over the years and we shall see if these are going to be now, this is not the generation of Walmart packs that had the variants, the like super high ratio variants. Uh, this is the latest of the Walmart packs that I have seen. Uh, I haven't myself pulled out any like huge keys out of these, um, but we shall see. First up, we got, boom. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number four. This is just the regular cover. Nothing big, nothing fancy. And then boom, we got Savage Avengers number five. Looks like, you know, so second printing. Uh, Savage Avengers was really dope starting out. Uh, Mike Diodato art uh, cover. Um, Normally done by David Finch. I mean, just killer. The story was even good, but just kind of fell off for me. Alien number seven. This is the Walmart exclusive. So nothing earth shattering in that pack. Let's see about this one right here. Uh, razor knife that I had. Come on. That I had broke, and I haven't bought another one using this knife, but I hate to plow through it and end up cutting the comic. All right, what we got here? We got X Corp number one. Is this a letter? No, it's just a pill variant or whatever. You gotta take a pill to stomach X Corp. Uh, X Force number five, second printing. Yeah. Shang-Chi number four. I'm not sure if this is a Walmart. I think this is just a Walmart variant, probably. Uh, somebody in the chat can let me know. Uh, when the Shang-Chi uh, first miniseries came out in preparation for the movie release, I got that one. It was okay. Wasn't nothing to write home to mom about. Uh, but uh, that then they restarted the series. I didn't, I didn't hop on. Just got to make some decisions on which ones you do and which ones you don't do, right? All right, let's see what we got here. We got Wolverine number 11. This is not a variant that I have. Uh, it's not one I'm excited about. I've got Wolverine 
11. This is from the uh, current series. I've got Wolverine 11. But again, talking about space, I don't think I'm going to keep that one. All right, Uncanny X Men number one, X Men disband. This is from the, this is the second printing. Um, usually, you can tell the second printings because they are just a page or uh, a picture lifted from inside the book. This is the Uncanny last volume of Uncanny X Men, volume five, and this is the first issue. And it was. It got okay, but there towards the end, while the people dying, you're like, okay, this is, they already knew. They were just buying their time to House of X started at that point. Bosch, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. All right. All right, let's see what we got. So, so far, no good. <laughs> no, big, no big hits, nothing to write home to mom about, certainly nothing to keep in the PC. We shall see if that remains the case. All right, we've got X of Swords Creation, the variant cover. I think I've gotten one of these before out of a Walmart pack and uh, kept it. Um, Conan, the Barbarian. Number nine, second printing. And then Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, Bosch again. I hate it when you, this happens. Let's see. Look familiar. <laughs> look familiar. And look familiar. Exact same pack. That always sucks. Okay. Hopefully uh, everybody is doing well. And had a good holidays. So everybody gets back and rises to the ground. Let's go right here. All right, we got Amazing Spider-Man 73, part of the Sinister War. Captain Marvel 32. And then we got Death of Doctor Strange, number one. I think that's a Walmart exclusive uh, cover there. All right, let's see what we got in this pack. We got Defenders, number two. The Mother of Galactus. Okay. Then we got Savage Avengers number four, the second printing. And like I said before, this was a pretty cool series that started off. It just kind of uh, languished out there for me. And then Eternals, Thanos Rises. I think this might be a Walmart uh, exclusive as well. I've got one of these. The story, um, story was kind of meh or whatever. Kind of a cool cover. So I kept one for the PC already. And now we are down to the last pack already. Or not fast enough uh, <laughs> with, what, with what I've been able to pick up in these for sure. All right, look familiar, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. And as we started, we now end. I hate when they have the exact cotton picking thing in there. Um, so what? tell me what you thought about all of these pickups because uh, me personally, they suck. Um, it, you know, it happens. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. 
Um, and in this case, kind of lost. Uh, there is a low price point, uh, so not a lot of risk involved with it. Because uh, I'll sell those on whatnot or sell it on my uh, auction on Saturdays. Uh, but in either case, you know, now I got to sell them. Now I got to, you know, make a profit or, or whatever on them. But I did get a chance to get a book that I want or get a chance to get a bigger book because uh, the Walmarts, again, not this latest iteration of the Walmart packs, but the prior pack was the one that had all the big hits in it. Um, be interested to get some more of those seven for 10 because the price point's even lower. And I know someone who recently pulled a Shuri number two second print out of one, which is a pretty big book. Uh, nice, nice get there when you're only talking about less than $2 in a book. But anyway, tell me what you think down below. Again, did want to give a shout out to the channel members, people that are supporting the channel through their monthly membership. If you see a name up there that you don't recognize, most of these people are creators on YouTube and or Instagram. Write their name down. Go check them out. You might find that you like uh, their content and give them a sub up, give them a follow. That cost you anything. If you're in need of the in need of those supplies to protect those cards, comics, vinyl records, etc. Now, be forewarned that BCW is like just about any other company. A lot of their stuff is backed up. But if you can wait and want to get a good deal, nevertheless, you can go to bcwsupplies.com. Use the coupon code SCG to save yourself 10% on your order at checkout. And there is a link in the description below for that. There's also a link tree link to all the platforms that I'm on. And you can find, you can join the channel through Patreon and or YouTube through that. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram as well as whatnot. Uh, you can do that through that link tree link. And until next time, keep reading, keep collecting. Adios.